Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Hey, you are watching for the dog channel. Today you will learn all aspects of feeding an aging dog. What should be done to make your pet live longer. As dog majors, owners often wonder how their dog's nutrition differ over the years. We have observed and noticed no common opinion among experts and dog owners on this subject. There is a lot of confusing and contradictory information. Some sources say uh, that we should decrease the amount of proteins and increase the number of carbohydrates. Others say that nutrition should remain the same from the time pet grow up. Manufacturers attack us with special high fiber, low fat, anti obesity formulas. So let's figure out how to feed an older dog properly and what to look out for. As many dry food available on your market are uh, the manufacturer's promises have diametrically opposite effect on the dog's body. As a result, older dogs gain weight, strain sore joint and have liver problems. And as a rule, do not live longer than, let's say, 13 years. I'll thought they should. This happens because specially formulated, specially formulated kibble and cans do not contain the ingredients needed to cover your carnivore's daily protein and fat needs. As a consequence, they, uh, dogs stay hungry and ask for more food. And in addition to this, the high fiber and low protein content have a delayed effect on your dog's vital organs. The dogs lose interest in food, has skin problems and continues to gain excess weight. Feeding dry food for older dogs affect dog very quickly. Older dogs need quality protein. One of the most talked to topic uh, in feeding aging dog is the protein they need. The old hypothesis were based on the same claim that it was necessary to lower protein intake for an aging or older dog. New research proves that the quality of the protein directly influences the health of older dog and mustn't reduce it. If your dog doesn't have enough protein in his diet, he will lose weight, his BMI, body mass index, will decrease, become apathetic and his immune system will be severely compromised. And this bound to have a significant impact on his health. Outdated theories claiming that older dogs need less protein than younger individuals were based on the thesis that the dog could not physically assimilate average amount of protein. New research, in turn, mul multiplies by zero. This thesis confirms that the high-quality protein is key to maintaining health in older dogs. Low protein intake makes dogs uh, more sensitive to toxic substances. Uh, reduced protein in older dogs is terrible for their health. As dogs age, their bodies lose their ability to absorb 100% of their nutrients. Older dogs should get at least 25% more protein than younger dogs. This is number by which the portion needs to be increased to maintain protein levels equally to younger age. Suppose an older dog does not get a quality protein, including essential amino acids, in increased amounts. In this case, the body will cannibalize protein from muscles, uh, which will lead to atrophy, weight loss and other health problems. There is an example of calculation. If your daily portion of natural food for 10 kilo or 22 pound dog is 400 grams of raw food per day, it should be increased at least to at least to 500 grams per day for an older dog. What about kidney problems? Other persistent myth is that dog with kidney problems should be fed a diet with little protein. Recent studies refute this thesis. Uh, that's more, they prove that dog with kidney problems need high level of top quality protein to maintain the healthy function of every organ. Dogs' high protein diets have no adverse effect on the body or to the kidneys. For years of studying kidney problems have shown that the reducing protein levels in dogs' diets does more harm than help, exposing the foreleg to protein deficiency. It was a quote from Gregory Reichert, PhD. What causes kidney problems in dog? 
In itself, age is not a disease. Age does not cause loss of essential function. Usually, they are caused by main two main problems. The first one is genetic issue, which appear already in stage of puppyhood upon reaching adulthood. On this point, I have more questions for breeders because not everyone strives to become a good and even the best breeder in their bread. Alice. The second is urgent issues. It caused a kidney stroke. They can be poisoning, diets with a poor quality plant protein, diets with high level of carbohydrates, severe dehydration, anesthesia, uh, ureteral lesions with bacteria leptospirosis and, of course, uh, Cushing's or Edison disease, tick bites, etc. Most kidney problems can be stopped and wholly cured if diagnosed in time. The key point is timely detection of a problem is noticeable changes in your dog. This includes increased water intake, increased and frequent defecation, loss of appetite, lost weight and apathy. If you go to your veterinarian for help, make sure that diagnosis is followed up with further tests and will show the cause of kidney problems. After watching my video, you will already aware uh, what may or may not cause the problem. And another crucial fact for you to consider is that the most vets make money from prescribing special formulas from manufacturers like Royal Canin, Hills, Purina and other crap. Now, let's talk about diet for senior dogs. The choice of ingredients is crucial for older dogs. In addition to the research findings of protein supplementation, a must for protein for older dog is digestibility. How do you know if a protein is, is good digestible or not? It's quite simple. The more naturally occurring protein for carnivores, the better the digestibility. Meat organs, cottage cheese and eggs are animal products uh, that are excellent for dogs to digest. Meat and organs should be raw. This is most appropriate state as nutrition is conceived in nature. On the other hand, dry food does not contain easily digestible protein. It has cheap and healthy carbohydrates in the form of rice, wheat, corn, beans, sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, buckwheat and other food junk for dog. In addition to these harmful ingredients, kibble contains preservatives and flavor enchancers, not listed in the elements, to extend its shelf life. Processed and canned food have no animal protein, essential for well-nourished dogs, and without which the diet will never be complete. Many senior dog owners may choose to reduce the fat content of their food towards omega-3 fatty acids. The main rule of feeding uh, will be quality fresh meat, which should be only the only one source of protein for dog. Despite the uh, assurances of many fake specialists of the need of reducing protein in your dog's diet, you should not do so. After all, these experts are not familiar with the latest research and got their knowledge either from Soviet books or from medical representatives of kibble manufacturers, which makes their knowledge uh, either outdated or biased. The amount of phosphorus can be reduced in some cases, with creatinine value about 3 and urea nitrogen about 80. In such cases, preference is given to the type of meat with the lowest amount of phosphorus to provide comfort uh, to the animal while maintaining portion size. Turkey and rabbit meat can also help in this case. There is no need to reduce phosphorus before these creatinine and urea nitrogen values. Many kidney problems in older dogs have been caused by improper nutrition earlier. A major misconception of uh, owners who feed their dogs dry food is they think that Kimball contains everything they need to complete nutrition. It doesn't. Only beautiful marketing, marketing of complete and balanced food compromises healthy and beauty to your dog. This food has nothing to do with these promises because they contain lower quality plant-based ingredients, hard to digest protein and over-the-top hydrates for dogs. 
as well as dyes, flavor enchanters, eration preservatives and heavy metals. As a consequence, the liver and other organs suffer. To be sure to remove carbohydrate-rich food, starchy foods and uh, foods with high glycemic index from the diet of aging dogs. Meat variety is essential, e.g. beef, lamb, fish, turkey, duck, rabbit or quail. The, uh, the type of food is not only meat but also meat and bone, cottage cheese and eggs. If your dog is overweight, not only uh, do you need to eliminate carbs, but also reduce the amount of fat intake, but not less than 5%. With obesity, cutting back on portion works, but not, but more importantly, no feeding from the table, no yummy treats, and no sweets. Do not combine kibble with natural food. Enzymes are produced for only one type of feeding. This is very important to know. And yet, you should not boil meat because then it denaturalized the structure and becomes much more minor in vitamins and protein digestion de decreases. This leads to bad acidity of stomach and intestines and weak immunity. I have dedicated a video about making your dog's immunity even stronger. I am sure you need to watch it. Remember the important rule. There is no room for compromise when it comes to proper dog's nutrition. Now you learn the main aspects of feeding an all aging dog. I hope this video was helpful for you and your pet. You can also support this channel on Patreon. Link can be found in the description below. And also can share this video to dogs forum, social networks and sites. This will help uh, people to find it. So thank you for watching. See you next week. Bye.